Do you ever have one of those days or weeks when nothing makes sense? Sometimes I have to just come outside and just look at the butterflies and get in nature a little bit and get a new perspective. Uh, last week, one of my husband's coworkers died and um, he was 43 years old. He looked healthy, he felt good. Do you know the most common symptom of heart disease? is a fatal heart attack. And that's what happened to him, completely out of the blue. And you know, you, you know when, when you hear that, what's the first thing that you think of? Heart disease, we think of cholesterol, right? And I don't know what his details are. That's, that's not, he was not my, my client. I don't know what's, what was happening with him, but I do know about cholesterol. And I will tell you that the, the common information that we hear out there is entirely false. So let's talk for a second about the truth about cholesterol. Cholesterol is the hormone that's at the top of the hormone tower. If you want other hormones, you need cholesterol first to have to, so your body can use it as a building block to make other hormones. Uh, let's think about this analogy. When a house is on fire, there are firemen there. Did the firemen cause the fire? No, the firemen are there to put out the fire and that's what cholesterol is doing. When we have inflammation in our bodies, cholesterol's job is to heal the inflammation. Uh, here's another myth or another shock for you. More people die with low cholesterol than with high cholesterol and that doesn't make sense when we when we try to fit that into what we hear in the media, right? High cholesterol is a warning sign. It's not a problem. It's a warning sign. It tells you mm, there's a fire. We need. I'm I'm the fireman. Cholesterol is the fireman trying to put out the fire. Cholesterol is there to heal inflammation in your body. Now here's when cholesterol can get dangerous. When it is oxidized. Number one. Number two. When you have a high number of of cholesterol particles and when you have small particles. Let's, let me share a little, uh, a couple of analogies with you. Think about, you've got your blood vessels, right? When there's inflammation, the lining of the blood vessel, think of it as getting rough. The small particles of cholesterol can get stuck in there and then they become oxidized and it becomes plaque and it becomes hard and that is when cholesterol can become a problem. Small particles when there's inflammation. Second analogy. Let's think about a traffic jam, okay? So now this is a road. Now what matters in a traffic jam? The number of people or the number of cars and trucks. Obviously, it's the number of vehicles in the road cause a traffic jam, right? Cholesterol in this analogy is like the people in the car. That's irrelevant. What matters is the number of particles in cholesterol. You can get this test. This is a test that most doctors do not run. This is called an NMR test. It will tell you about the small particles and the particle number. What's more important than that is the inflammation. You need to know how much inflammation is in your body. Think about, oh, it's just so frustrating to me. When I look at the health of, uh, 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 the poor health of, of my friends and neighbors, there is more and more disease happening at younger and younger ages and it is unnecessary, it is preventable. Cellular inflammation is the leading cause of the majority of the degenerative conditions that people are suffering from today. You know, people don't get sick because of a lack of medication in their diet, right? Doesn't that make sense? Cellular inflammation is the problem. And I think our friend might, must not have known that. Because I just think if people knew that, if he knew that, wouldn't he have made changes so that he wouldn't leave his family and leave so much of his life unlived and leave his kids 
without his influence? Wouldn't he have made those changes necessary? Wouldn't he have done whatever it takes to heal his body so that he could be there for his kids? Well, what about you and what about me? What will you do for your friends and family so that you can show up, so that you can live life to the full? We're having a talk next week, September 15th, in Georgetown at the Chamber of Commerce at 6.30. And I hope that you will come for yourself, but for your family, so that you can learn how to avoid becoming one of those statistics this year. Leaving your friends and family to think, what happened here? It is so senseless. Please, please take action. Do something about it because the suffering that we're seeing is unnecessary. You can choose a different way. And I hope you'll join us at our talk so you can learn what you can do differently so that you can have a different ending to your story than our friend had at age 43.